lesson today on layers within Adobe Photoshop. Um, now I'm a little bit slow right now because I, I kind of just woke up and uh, I got myself a nice glass of cold milk. I really love cold milk because it helps calm down my cough. Uh, I have acid reflux and it, it just it calms things down. So, um, <sighs> anyway, um, that's that. Let's continue with the tutorial. Um, you go to File and New, and we're going to create a new document, 1024 pixels by 768. Go ahead and click OK. And now you have the blank document. Now, if you don't have the Windows palette open, or I'm sorry, the Layers palette open, you can actually go to Window and come down here and select Layers. And that obviously makes mine disappear since it was already up, but click it again, and there it is. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here's our layers palette with all our layers in it. And by default, when you create a new document, you have a background layer. And the layer is locked. And I like to get rid of that lock. And I like to have a fresh new layer that I can edit completely, add effects to, and such things. And um, it's a very useful um, tool in the future. So, what I do is I click and I drag the background layer into the new layer button and that duplicates it and then I just drag the previous one with the lock on it into the trash and that's it we're done with that and you can double click the text and type in background and now you have a fresh solid white layer that you can make whatever changes you want to and it won't affect anything else so that is that but let's get started with the tutorial alright this is how layers function you can actually uh, you can create new layers by clicking the new layer button and see that creates a transparent layer with nothing on it called layer one and I click it again and it gives me layer two and again layer three you can pretty much see where this pattern is going but to delete the layers I just click and drag into the trash can very quick and um, so that's it let's just keep layer one though we're gonna be doing some work on layer one and there you go so let's actually create another layer now that I think about it, to demonstrate the real function of layers. So now we have layer 1 and layer 2, both completely empty transparent layers. Let's select layer 1 and grab the circular Marquee tool. And let's drag out a circle here. And you can use the hotkey, Alt plus Backspace, to fill it with whatever color you choose. In this case, black. And Control plus D to deselect. Now let's select our layer 2 and we already have the circular marquee tool selected so let's just drag another circle kinda over it like that see and uh, let's select a different color like a, a blue or something like that let's see here maybe a bluish green mm, that seems pretty good right about there so let's just hit alt backspace to fill that and so now we have two colors, two circles on two separate layers. Very interesting. Not really. But uh, as I said, this is basic stuff and stuff that we got to know because it's, it's how Photoshop functions. Very important. So layer two has our blue circle on it and layer one has our black circle on it. So if you can see with layer two, it actually appears above layer one. It makes sense, right? If you have layers in terms of sheets of paper and one sheet of paper is above the other, you're not going to see what's behind the other sheet of paper unless somehow you're able to cut off portions of the top piece and then the bottom piece would show through. In fact, let's do that. Let's actually let's select the eraser tool and you can click and drag with layer 2 selected. You can see over here we have layer 2 selected with our blue circle and um you can just click and drag with the eraser tool and see that we aren't affecting, we aren't erasing the black circle. And that's because we only have layer 2 selected, which is very, very useful. This is actually the main function of layers, so that you can edit whatever is on one layer and not have it affect what is on the other layer. So we're going to hit Control z to undo, and um, we're going to select the first layer, the black layer, black circle and we're gonna delete some of that just click and drag and you'll notice I came out the other end and I didn't go through the 
blue circle either, but that's because we have layer 1 selected with the black circle on it. Is this getting interesting? Is this interesting yet? No? No, Graham, this is not interesting. Well, don't worry, because believe you me, we are going to have some interesting tutorials in the future. There is one other thing that I would like to talk to you about, and I will do future tutorials on layers in the future. Future tutorials on layers in the future. Uh, I don't even know. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to do future tutorials on layers, and um, on masks specifically, and effects, and uh, you know, good stuff like that. Very useful things. But I really just wanted to introduce to you layers and show you how they work. So what we can do is we can go up to this opacity here, if we have layer 2 selected, and just select that and put a 5 there so it's 50%. And whatever is below that layer, in this case the black layer, will show through by 50% because this layer that we uh, set the opacity to 50% is now 50% opaque, if that makes sense, or 50% transparent. I'm sure everybody has a good idea of what transparency is about. Obviously you can do the same. Uh, we're going to go over blending modes in future tutorials and I will show you some useful things that you can do in Photoshop with blending modes. But I obviously I cannot go through every single one of these right now due to time constraints. So I think I'm going to leave it at that for the first tutorial here on Photoshop layers. It's a very remedial tutorial but it's very good that you understand how the flow of layers works and why you can edit one thing and not have it affect another. How you can create new layers and move them around and uh, basically you can continuously work on one element. One other thing I thought I would mention is how to merge layers together and if you control click, use your control key and left click on whichever layers you want to merge together you can select or in this case deselect layers and then you hit the hotkey control E that's control plus E and that's it. You merge whatever was on those two layers into one layer, now called layer two. And for the sake of ease, I'll call this merged. And you can see now that when I hold down control and drag what is ever on this layer, I'm now dragging both circles. And with that, I will conclude this tutorial. This is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. And stick around, possibly subscribe because there will be future more advanced tutorials in the future. I did it again. Future more advanced tutorials in the future.